Hello, Ace Appliance. Listen, I bought a television from you, and um, I'm going to need you to take that TV back. Well, it's not defective exactly, but it's... I think it's listening to me. Well, it's just doing strange things. I mean, yesterday, yesterday it repeated a steak commercial over and over again until I bought four sets just to shut it up. No, I am not crazy. Stop. I think it's communicating with me. Look, I need you to take this TV back. If you don't come and take it back, I'm going to bring it down to your store and throw it through your front window. Part 11 of Control. We have figured out where Dylan is. We know he's being kept as a prisoner. Don't know the details about her brother Dylan. And now we are at the Ocean View Motel. We're going to try to figure out how to get on to the next step to get to Dylan. Oh God, it's always something confusing. Why is somebody screaming? That's scary. I can't get any of these rooms. I can't get any of these rooms. Okay, just the one door is open. The janitor's door is not open. None of these doors open. I heard a guy screaming. There's just stains coming out in front of that door. That's just gross. But this is the only door open, so something's up with this room, but I don't see anything in this room. That I can touch or affect in any way. There's nothing in this room that I can do anything with. get to the casino. I find this extremely confusing. Like, how are you supposed to traverse the hotel? There's no...
Okay, that door's now shut and the one at the end is open now. Uh, okay. I have to ring the bell, I think, three times. Nope, that's not what it was. Okay, there is nothing in this room to pick up. Right? door is still open. Why can't I get the... Where's the other door? If I ring this again... Oh my god, what am I doing wrong? It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Well, clearly they were. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Yes, I would say being kept in here for your entire life in a place like this, things would be hard. P6 cell straight ahead. You're telling me this guy is still okay? Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. Of course got there an is. object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. 
Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. So, she's assuming- and please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Oh, the sudden stop hits theaters tonight. Can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey movie for this. Holy crap, listen to this guy. I think the essential problem she's having is that she's assuming that her brother Dylan is a victim. I mean, he, and he was when he was a child. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. I don't know that he's a victim at this point. I'm very nervous in here now because I feel like I'm getting to the crux of everything now. There's no way she can... He's above me somewhere. I'm, I'm about to have a big doo-doo problem, I'm pretty sure. Okay, there's the stairs going down, but I don't want to go down. I want to go up. There's a lift right there, but... not kill him. Okay. What? What is flying around? Okay, what? I have no idea how to get around this place, and of course they're going to make it as confusing as possible. It's a mailbox! basket okay these are all items of power that are kept oh that's a fan a hammer sledgehammer looks like level three has been marked out I need to find the elevator and the p6 cell but I have to also oh this is an elevator right here
Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I was about to say, he may not be she's telling me everything. No, I don't think she's telling you everything for one thing, but I also don't think that you understand what your brother has turned into. I don't think he's... He's not the brother you remember when you're... It's been 17 years. I mean, there's something's... I can't get my gun out while I'm in here. Oh, he's on floor five. What am I? Okay, I don't know that there's, it's a television that's flying around up here, I think, causing problems. This is going to be nerve-wracking, I think. Okay, so the board is having problems. I almost feel like I'm rushing this game a little bit because I do not know. Okay, there's nothing in this room. She Hello? wants. Is, it, is anyone there? What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My super blazer never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. No. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Okay. <laughs> There's a television up here that I'm supposed to subdue, which is going to be...
Okay, what's... That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. Okay. Okay, now what am I supposed to do? I have no idea what's going on and I can't. This is a cutscene. I can't do anything about this. Cleanse the Benikov. <laughs> Did I cleanse it? I don't understand. Oh my god, look at this place. Okay, this is super bizarre. No, there's no other way for me to go. There's going to be all kinds of bad guys down here. No, oh, a lot of them. Oh crap, there's... <laughs> Am I supposed to jump into this room? Uh... Yeah, I can't. It's I takes Oh god, I have to jump into the room. Just throwing things at each other. Oh, that's Salvador. That's that guy. Shit, he's a main boss, I think. to keep moving and that was my problem you have to keep moving and I got myself up on those little stairs where I was not moving around I don't know how far back it's gonna put me though oh geez put me oh no I'm going this way because that's the dude with the TV God, all the way back to these guys.
Okay. Well. you have to keep moving. Okay, I gotta be, I gotta keep moving around or I'm gonna get killed. Okay, well, I got Salvador's. Who's left? That thing was Salvador, the head of security. Okay. His team didn't stand a chance against the hiss. No one here does. Okay, the TV. The TV babysitter. <laughs> Use levitate to complete the astral. I have levitate now? How do I levitate? Oh, hold space bar, keep. Okay, so I can only... Crap, really?
Okay, dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Do I go this way or this way? Of course. All right, the next thing we have to do is find Dylan, but Okay, so we need to find Dylan finally after we got out of that whole other thing. Uh, and that's going to be next time because we've been on for quite a while now. And the last thing we have to do now is find Dylan. <laughs>